Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are looking at functions and whether they are even, odd, or neither. So we're going to determine this for three uh, functions using the algebraic method. We could do it graphically as well. Um, remember that for a function to be even, it is symmetrical over the y-axis and for a function to be odd it is symmetrical over the origin. But we're going to do this algebraically today. So for the first one, f at x equals x squared minus 4. The test is always to sub in f at negative x. So wherever there is an x in the original equation, we're going to sub in negative x instead and then simplify and see what we end up with. It is really important to include the parentheses when you sub in that negative x. So we get this. Now because the negative is uh, under an exponent that is even, then we know this is going to end up being a positive. So we can simplify this to x squared minus 4. And we see that this is the same as the original equation. And so we can conclude that this function pardon me, is even. Let's move on to the next one then. Here we have f at x equals 2x squared minus x. So we do the same test as always. We sub in f at negative x. We get 2 times negative x squared minus negative x. And we're going to simplify here to get 2 Again, we have a negative with an even exponent, so this is going to become positive x squared, and then the two negatives make it a positive, and we get the plus x. So this equation that we have here is not the original equation, so we know that it's not even. And if we were to factor out a negative here, we would still not get the original equation back. So this is also not equal to negative f at x, which means it's not odd either. So this equation is neither even nor odd. And let's look at our last one. f at x equals 1 over x minus x. So we start off the same way again f at negative x and substitute negative x everywhere that there is an x. This is what we have. Now we simplify. We can write this negative in the numerator or in the denominator or outside of the whole fraction like this and then we get plus x here. Okay. Now this is not the same as the original function. However, if I pull out a negative 1 by factoring out a negative 1, I'm left with negative 1 over x minus x. And this is the same thing as negative f at x, meaning it is the negative of the original function here. So we can conclude that this function, then, is odd by definition. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.